and this is my attempt to share the lessons I've learned over the past decade of building and creating community from scratch because relationships really do matter. And I'm in a new city right now and I'm starting over again. So how can you begin wherever you are and build those types of communities, cultures, and relationships? Here we go, let's have some conversations. So over the past 400 plus days, I have done something every single day that has really actually changed my life. And it wasn't something that I had a vision for, but it was something that came about based off of some disciplines that I was beginning to set up and realize I needed and I wanted. And what that thing was is this. I have ran every single day for over 400 days in a row. And as I shared that with somebody, I haven't talked about it a ton. I haven't uh, posted a ton about it. There was a few things that I shared, and a few people know just because they ask or because, yeah, hey, are you a runner? And I end up saying, yeah, I'm, I, I run a little bit. And what's happened is um, I have developed a desire to get better. And through this discipline, there were other things that were beginning to come into my life. But through this one discipline, uh, somebody asked me that was a professional trainer. He said, well, what have you learned? And what I've learned is really, I've learned that the difference between where you are and where you want to be and that gap is discipline. And people talk about this all the time. People are like always trying to, you know, teach me how to optimize my life, uh, whether that's download a new app or, you know, I need to have a morning routine that's a $100 million morning routine that takes me four hours and then it's not the morning anymore. You know, like, like there's a bunch of stuff that we could do and it's, people talk about that all the time and that's not, that's not really what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is uh, what, where, what is it for you that, that where you want to go is that gap that's disciplined that you need to add things or take away things from your life to get to where you want to go. And I found a few things that have changed the game for me. Somebody who was wanting to go somewhere, somebody who has dreams for their life, somebody who is trying to see where their relationship with Jesus could take them, and all of that in between. I think it's important that we figure this out together. So uh, this is the first thing that I've learned. And it's this, uh, reflection is key for learning. And so if I didn't have a friend of mine text me or actually DM'd me and he said, so like, what are a few things you've learned? I wouldn't probably have these things that I've learned that now I've thought about because I needed to respond to them. So I think that's huge. Reflection, uh, forward thinking, backward thinking, it's massive if we're trying to develop and grow. Uh, but one of the things that I realized is I need competition. I need something that I haven't completed yet, and I need competition to compel me to get better, whether that's signing up for a race, whether that's making a specific goal and measuring it and taking note of it and how I'm going to get there, or it's even just like other people. How I even got on this journey wasn't me like saying, like, I'm going to run 400 days in a row, it was actually me and a group of friends, we started talking about like this, uh, this concept, 75 hard, whatever, it's an app, <laughs> believe it or not. So uh, we started talking about 75 hard during COVID. And as we went down this path together, and it was who can actually complete it and who's going to stop, I actually didn't stop. And it went from 75, 75 days in a row, ended up taking 90 days in a row. And 90 days in a row ended up going further into a hundred and then out of that it's what's the next mountain to climb what's the next thing to accomplish and then I thought well what if I ran every day for a year and then I got to a year of running every day and as I looked back and what happened I realized that the competition compelled me to keep going and I needed something to strive toward and that was huge for me so do you have competition in your life? Do you have something that you are competing in trying to accomplish in life? Also, competition, accomplishing something. And the second thing I learned was this. I learned that uh, the bad weather 
does more, did more for my mind than good weather. Meaning, if I was going to go out and run, and I ended up running when it was like negative 20-something degrees outside at one point, and it was amazing because people are like, are you still going to run? And I was like, well, I think I can still run in this. I think it's still safe as long as I have the right gear. And so it's not that I was running, you know, in a tank top in negative 20 degrees, but I went and ran. And those difficult rainy nights, rainy mornings, those difficult cold days, those difficult fill in the blank did more for the, my mental strength than anything else. And if you're going to go through something that's difficult and stick with it and stick with the discipline, you're more likely to stick with it on the other side on those good days. And you're just going to keep developing and getting better and better and better. And, uh, and then and a part of that, what I realized, is that when I would run to the top of mountains or the top of hills, I would run until I started going down on the other side. And you say, well, Trevor, why would you do that? Well, the reason I ran until I was going down on the other side was because I wanted to make sure that I actually had reached the top. I think so many times we fall short because we think we have gotten somewhere that we actually have never gotten yet. And until we cover the complete top of it, the complete peak, we, how can we know that we've gotten to a certain point that we were striving toward? And so until I was going down on the other side, I realized that I had gotten to really where I wanted to go. And I had covered the top. And so I just like what that kind of mental structure, that kind of difficulty has done to my mind because it has helped me develop a sense of completion, a sense of follow through, a sense of not letting difficult things stop me from where I want to go. And then really one of the third, well, the third thing that I've really uh, realized and I think that is really powerful in the middle of this complexity is uh, why stop? Why stop? So you're going to say, that I've gone 30, 365 days in a row running every single day. Awesome. Why stop? Well, so now it's 400 plus days in a row. Why would I stop? Why stop? Why stop a discipline that you've worked so hard to gain in life? Is there a reason? And is there a, a like, is there a specific cause and effect? Is it hurting you? Is it helping you? What are you developing? How are you growing? And what I've learned is how to receive and build and grow as a man on these runs, allowing myself space to think, allowing myself space to pray, allowing myself space to run, allowing myself um, uh, space to expend energy and really uh, finish the day on empty. And so what I found is that running uh, is better than not running. And all I'm trying to do is to gain some disciplines where I can say, hey, you know what? I may not be that, but here's what I do have. And now I know what it takes to have disciplines that come into my life where I can determine who I become and where I go. And then I can focus on the disciplines that actually do change my life, whether that's my relationship with the Lord, whether that's my relationship with my wife, whether that's the relationship with my kids. And then I can look at people and say, hey, here's why you may not have a relationship with Jesus. And they may be interested in hearing what I have to say because I'm disciplined in areas that they're interested in being disciplined in. And I'm excited about seeing how God uses uh, what he's taught me through this simple, keep leaning, keep pressing, don't stop, don't quit attitude that he's beginning to formulate in my life. Full tilt, all in, let's take advantage of the time we do have and not worry about where we're not. Let's focus on where we are together with the Lord and with what we actually have in this moment. And last but not least, um, I've come to realize 
that no matter if I run in the morning, in the middle of the day, or in a break, or at night, when everyone's asleep, the discipline of running every day means that everyone has the same amount of hours in that day. And you determine what you do today. And I determine what I do today. So we can always set up the day. Instead of life happening to us, we can happen to it. And we can plan and we can create and we can see God do something special right where we are. So this is just something I'm getting excited about. And what would happen in your life if you began to just think about and determine those disciplines that you had? Uh, because we're all on this journey and I can't wait to see what happens next. Let's take full advantage together.